and you'll never improve. Leah, are you all right? Yes, I think so. I'm sorry to push you like this, but it will all be for the best in the end. I know. It is time. Leah, cast the spell as I taught you. I live again. Zoltan Cool. We need you to activate the Black Soul Stone. We would use it to trap the last two Lords of Hell. <laughs> I know your voice, stranger. It has haunted me in death, just as it commanded me in life. Tyriel. I am, but now mortal. Ah, fate is whimsical. I will give you the Black Soul Stone, but in exchange, I must be made whole once again. You were treacherous before. How do I know you won't be an even greater threat once you've been fully revived? You don't. So, you must ask yourself, how much would you risk to save this wretched world? Everything. Ah, so be it. To begin, you will need to retrieve my blood from the dungeons where it has been hidden away. You will find them in the desolate sands beyond the aqueducts. I'm going to go with you. We should bring Cool's head with us. Maybe he'll have something useful to say. I'll put him in your bag. After surviving the devastation in Tristram all those years ago, I swore vengeance upon Diablo and his ilk. I've sacrificed everything for it. This is my path, and I will follow it through to its bloody end. Leah is grateful to have you here. She has lost so much. She has a kind heart. Isn't that what you wanted? Kindness will not help us survive in these dark times. The Lord of Lies is cunning. He wears many masks to hide his shifting nature from us. But we will have an advantage over him. The Black Soul Stone. Belial fears its power, for Soul Stones have bested his siblings in the past, and he could be imprisoned as well. Murderer, torturer, monster. These were the titles bestowed upon Zoltan Kuhl by the Horadrim. Though it cost them dearly, they killed the wizard for his crimes against nature and sealed his broken corpse within a shadow realm. It seems they were afraid he might return. Have you ever met Belial in battle? Not openly. He was never one to lead an army. Always in the shadows, much like his mentor, Mephisto. He wields intrigue and artifice as proficiently as you wield your weapons. Returning to Chaldea must be hard for you. I told myself I'd never come back here. 
And yet here I am. Because of what happened to your father? Because of what happened to me. Some scars don't heal. And there's no point in scratching at them, is there? The weather doesn't suit me either. Is Chaldeum still the city you remembered? Last time I passed through here, I was soon after meeting Mira. She wanted to stop and see the city, but I convinced her to travel on. My good memories of Chaldeum feel like I'm watching someone else's life. I'll be glad for us to be gone. Did you meet your wife in Chaldeum by chance? It's actually quite a tale. We met in a town not far from here on the outskirts of Kurast. She was... what well, you're not going to believe it. She was locked in a cage. Why? Had she committed a crime? No. They were going to burn her as a witch. You fell in love with a witch? Let's talk about this another time. Tell me more about that witch. Uh, I mean your wife. I broke her out in the middle of the night and we escaped. They didn't chase us far. I guess they were glad to see her go. A real boy meets witch story, hmm? She wasn't a witch. She was a mystic. Though we didn't find that out for a time. Not until we started traveling with the veteran wagon train. But that's a story for another time. What was it like traveling with a veteran? When we first joined the wagon train, we were just two lost souls. The Vetchin thought it was unbearably romantic, a pair of lovers on the run from their pasts. I suppose it might have even been true. A mystic with the Vetchin recognized Mira's talent immediately. We stayed with them while Mira learned from her. Along the way, we fell in love and married. I've never known anything as surely as my love for her. Sounds like she cast a real spell on you, didn't she? Never mind. New goods today. Please look, you won't be disappointed. You're an interesting one, aren't you? I wonder if your friends know what you truly are. What are you babbling about? Uh, all will be revealed in time.
to get out of here! I must flee! Each and every crusader was a warrior of rare strength. They had mastered the power of light, of weapons. Save us! Don't let us die! To get out of here! Thank you for saving me. Time to explore the great library of Caribbeans. You are more like your uncle than you know. Over there, let us cleanse it from this land. Do you want more? the lost artifacts with Uncle Deckard, even though it did have its dangerous side. I can't tell you how many times I had to drag him away from an army of skeletons because he was fixated on some dusty old tapestry. You will not enter the aqueducts! Lord Belial demands your blood! Ah! 
not ready yet. I can open this gate for you. Uncovered Bilal's assumed identity. I'm very close. But here's what you need to know. To find Kool's blood, you'll need to get through the aqueducts. There are two levers that control the entrance beneath the waterfall. Have you located Belial? Not yet, but I have some ideas. It is difficult. I have many advisors and other attendants close to me day and night. I will find him. How are you able to appear before us? They keep a close watch on me. I can't leave the palace. I stole an amulet from the Vajera ambassador. I saw him use it before. But I don't have much time. You need to find the stone. Leave Bilal to me. He did not really answer your question. How odd. I don't like the look of this place. Something was here before us. Likely demons. It's Belial. So long as he lives, all of Chaldean is under siege. Uncle Deckard theorized that the demon lords leave demons in their wake. Much like us leaving footprints. Do you believe that? Yes. The more I study my uncle's books, the more I realize that even I took his wisdom for granted. The Chaldeum aqueducts were created by order of the Trade Consortium Council after the Dalgar Oasis was discovered three centuries ago. Though Chaldeum had been prosperous for many years, a reliable source of water allowed the city to grow even further. Luxurious public fountains were built to provide safe drinking water for everyone. Need more time. Hey, their corpse is brought here. 
That's one lever down. I think we were meant to come this way. Perhaps someone waits for us down here? In days, the aqueducts have become dilapidated and infested with vermin. The Imperial Guard has done nothing, proclaiming that the aqueducts were in tolerable condition. But I have seen them with my own eyes, and I know the truth. Many wealthy families, including myself, now prefer well water for our homes. should lead to the desolate sands. A secret door hidden behind a waterfall. How imaginative. You would do better? You shall see when we get to my archives. <laughs> He stuck me in a barrel. Really, it's quite uncomfortable in here. Oh, what's going on out there? Yeah. Are you still alive out there? 
or is it the monster? Is... Oh, say yes if you are, or you could clap. Thank you for releasing me. It was getting a little boring in there. Uh, I, I, I am seeking a magic crucible that legend says was hidden in these very aqueducts. <laughs> it, it would be a valuable addition to my jeweler's tools. <laughs> Help me find it, and I will be greatly indebted to you. <laughs> Oh, how rude of me. I forgot to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Covetous Shen. Covetous? Is that really a name? Why, yes. It's been mine as long as I can remember, and probably longer. I can't imagine why my young partner bashed me over the head and sealed me in there. This place is quite dangerous without a knowledgeable guide. You were careless to come here in the first place. How have you lived so long? I am too beautiful to kill. And you thought I was odd. Fascinating place this is. Oh, look at all this wonderful architecture. You could walk all the way around the world and never find its like. Uh, except for this part. I've seen this somewhere else before. Crucible, it's mine. Uh, be careful, Gavin. It might be cursed. Here, I... I just warn you. Uh, the crucible should be safe now. Uh, pick it up. Pick it up. <gasps> Poor little man. If I had known the crucible was cursed, I never would have brought him along. <laughs> I'm going back to town. I need to learn the spell needed to restore the body. You and I are the same. But those others, the fallen angel, the witch, they're using you for their own ends. You choose to be their puppet, yet the power of your birthright could make you a god. I doubt that would end well. Those who seek power are often destroyed by it. There's no need to be snide. Soon enough, I'll walk this world again. Then I'll show you what a Nephilim can achieve. I miss Uncle Deckard so much. It's hard going on without him. It is hard to leave the dead behind. Most of us never truly can, but he will live on in your memory, Leah. Thank you. I'm going to get back to my research.
Thank you. <laughs>